with all due respect, if you need to put more crazy in your life, I mean crazier than Glenn Beck Teabagger crazy, let me suggest you join this new movement of the birthers. Yes, these are people who hate Obama not because he's a communist or a fascist, they hate him because he's a Kenyan in the White House. He's an illegal alien occupying the White House. Hey, that's all you got to do. Just believe that. Now, you got to ignore a few things. Okay, I'll admit, you got to ignore his birth certificate. Ah, a minor problem. Ah, it's available everywhere. And yes, it says that Barack Hussein Obama was born in Honolulu, August 4th, 1961. And yeah, you know, Wahoo. Okay, technically, the United States, Hawaii. Okay, but guess what? You know, hey, it's a copy. It's a copy. It was forged, right? Okay, and you got to ignore a third party investigation. I mean, this stuff has been hashed out a million times already, like factcheck.org's report, Born in the USA, which unfortunately says, oh, yeah, the original is actually in with the vital statistics registrar in Hawaii, and they got pictures of it and the raised stamp, and everybody and their brother says that it's real and, and that there's no conspiracy, and that, oh, yeah, and that there was an ad in the Honolulu Advertiser, which was a newspaper, a week after he was born to announce his birth and that it would have to be some major conspiracy involving a mixed-race child born in 1961 who somehow was known at that time to be a potential candidate for, for, for president of the United States. And, you know, all right, you got to be, like I said, you got to be a lot crazy to be a birther. So maybe you have a little too much self-respect for that, even though you can get people like Lou Dobbs and a couple of Republican congressmen who will foist you along and pretend that it's real if you really want to go with it. But I know... It is asking a lot. It is asking a lot of crazy. So maybe you want to go just halfway crazy. And then let me suggest that you become one of the girthers. This is also kind of a new movement. And the girthers, you can find that. Go to Fox. They'll, they'll get you going. The girther, the term girther was uh, coined by an internet pundit. But girthers are basically people who think that Regina Benjamin, there she is there, she's Barack Obama's pick for Surgeon General. They think she's too fat to be Surgeon General. So you, you can hate Obama just by picking on the weight of one of his appointees. It's, you know, it's something, you know, it's just a little bit crazy. You've got to ignore, of course, C. Everett Koop, former Surgeon General, who was kind of chubby, actually. And you've got to really ignore this guy. This is Haley Barber. He's probably, oh, no, he definitely is the fattest governor in America, and he is the head of the Republican Governors Association, and uh, kind of a bright light in the party these days. And in terms of healthiness, I mean, I don't know. He's a former tobacco lobbyist who weighs like a gazillion pounds. I mean, I, for the Republicans to talk about unhealthy people, I mean, please. Anyway, so but you got your choice. It's still less crazy being a girther than being a birther. Now, I know what you're saying. Frank, why are you picking on the Republicans? I mean, all right, let me tell you why. For one thing, I am old enough to remember when Republicans were embodied by people like William F. Buckley. They were kind of the smart people in the room. And what's happened to them recently? I mean, you know, they've, they've gone down to like, Sarah, I can see Russia from my house, Palin. Joe, the freaking plumber. Come on. Can they get any worse? Oh, yeah. Well, maybe they can, actually. The Florida Republican Party is very excited. They got a special guest star coming to get everybody really ramped up. Carrie Prejean, the former Miss California, who is famous for being intolerant of gay marriage. I mean, really, it's amazing where they've come. So you've got a lot of choices. You've got your birther. You can become a girther. Or you can go and uh, sign up for Sarah Palin's 2012 campaign. Or you can see what's new with Joe the Plumber. Or jump on board and listen to the wonderful words of Carrie Prejean. You know, the party is literally now becoming a party of boobs.